Okay, it's a little dark in here, but I did all the moving of my stuff in here, and uh, yeah, it's packed. Holy crap, everything is disorganized. It's going to take me a week to freaking figure everything out. All that storage is full. So, uh, yeah, and the other van is empty, or pretty much empty. I just threw whatever I didn't want in it. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, let's go over here. Um, also, the good thing is, the other guy wants to buy this. And here it is. That's the empty shell of a van. Except for all my junk and, uh, coach folds down into a bed. Spare battery. I gotta take my good battery. So, this is the last Sayonara of my van. So... How's this difference in vans? Oh my goodness. It's, the Dodge is quite a huge comparison. And heavier frame, that's for sure. And taller. So yeah, the only thing I got left to do is take that battery out and... Uh, we're done, boys and girls. We're done. Um, I feel this bad for this guy. He's talking. He wants to buy my van. And that's a good thing. He offered 800 uh, I don't know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and go a little more. Um, I might lose 300 bucks or something on it, 400, but you know what? Helping them out. I've used it for two years with no problems, and I've lived out of it. It's saved me money. It's, it's given me a lot of benefits. And poor Mr. Bronze Van, um, it's been a good deal, but he's got plans with it. He's gonna do his business thing with it. And yeah, his business thing is illegal. And that's why he's, he was, that he was gonna convert this van to um, a food truck van. And it's a good thing I bought it because now it'll stay its original form. But I think he's gonna run liquor out of this. <laughs> And uh, that's why I don't want to go into business with him. He's a little sketchy. He said he was in jail or something for a couple of years for liquor running. And he's going back to liquor running, I think. And that's what his plan is when he gets his license back with this. So, well, whatever works for people. Yeah, but, uh, but anyways, um, I'm going to finish up. It's getting dark. And first night in van, if I can get a bed made somehow. Uh, that'll be a challenge next. All right, guys. Thanks. Good morning, sunshine. From the new van. In the more middle of a parking lot. The community center. Just waking up, yes. And uh, look at this mess. Holy crap. I've got a lot of sorting to do. I've got to sort through all of this stuff. Put it in storage. And, um... Yeah, I've got my work cut out for me today. Um, one more day of work. Ho, 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 ho. So happy. So excited. Um, but yeah, I can't wait to get this sorted so I can walk through this. Number one and number two so I can... Um, I don't know. <laughs> Let me wake up. I'll come back. Okay, beautiful day, beautiful day, sunshine's happening, and my final trip to the library here. Final trip because this is where I slept last night, today, this morning, but the thing is it was freaking loud, but I sleep like a rock and I didn't hear a thing. I'm a little too close to the main road here, and that, uh, you've seen this guy before, he camps around this area, but uh, I really don't know if I like that storage overhang, but for now. Okay, first fill up, and we're gonna check gas mileage. We'll set the odometer. Um, the other thing is, first impression of the drive. Uh, yeah, I love it. It's so much smoother driving than the Chevy. Steering is definitely a little lighter. And it's not as creaky and cra creaky and rattly, I guess, for wording, and much much smoother. But uh, that the fiberglass top is going to need a really good cleaning. 
and uh, the outside maybe a wash and whatever but first impressions are yeah very awesome first sleep in it was pretty good and everything else so yeah happy camper so far okay of course we go and fill up for gas it's a hundred and ten bucks it's not coming in you stupid camera yeah trust me it's a hundred and ten bucks but the problem was the van didn't start oh, the problems already um, either it's a shit battery which it possibly could be or it's not charging and I don't see it charging so I'm wondering if the alternator shot ah. oh man son of a gun so yeah no phone no starting van uh, first world problems so I got to decide whether to um, yeah it's not charging I don't know if it's his battery or what it looks old and it doesn't have a green eye but the alternator is not showing a charge either so I might need an alternator so we might go purchase one and see what happens yeah all right so how did I start this stupid van when the battery was died you ask and here I will show you down here underneath the seat area which is storage until I figure things out is this little bucket and in this bucket is if I can get my f lift it up oh heavy um, this is my house battery and notice that it is vented outside and the guy does have a little fan on it um, at this point I don't have it hooked up but I can emergency hook it up if I need so to start it all I did was hook up the red and positive and boost it um, I don't have it hooked up permanent because I don't want to charge it all the time until I get an isolator and proper system in so I don't use a lot of power so little bursts here and there I might um, charge it but other than that at this point until I get a better system going that's the way it's gonna be and uh, first things first we'll be cleaning up this pigsty um, once I get organized and get the van running again oh. yeah anyways 